Next, we will discuss how to use a multimeter to measure supply voltage, measure motor current draw, measure motor winding resistance, measure thermal protection switch resistance, and measure motor insulation continuity. Electrical troubleshooting should always be done by a trained professional using personal protective equipment. The following troubleshooting tips assume that the conveyor control system has already been checked for trips. Next, we'll use a voltmeter to measure the supply voltage. Connect the voltmeter leads between the pulley motor terminals U and V, V and W, and U and W. The three voltage measurements should be balanced and should not have more than 5% deviation from the lowest to the highest. The three voltage measurements should be within 5% of the voltage rating shown on the pulley data plate. This will determine if the supply voltage is getting to the pulley terminal board is the correct amount. For example, if the data plate says 460 volt, you verify that you have 460 volt and is balanced. Next, you can use the multimeter clamp on amp feature. You'll measure the pulley current draw. The clamp meter should be clamped around the supply wire connected to each motor terminal. For example, the leads connecting to terminal U will check phase one. The lead connected to terminal V will check phase two. And the lead connected to W will check phase three. The three measurements should be balanced and should not have more than 10% deviation from the lowest to the highest. The three measurements should be less than the full load amp rating shown on the pulley data plate. And this is going to determine whether the motor windings are balanced and whether or not the motor is drawing the correct amount of amperage. Next, you would use the multimeter to measure the motor winding resistance. Of course, you need to de-energize the supply voltage Disconnect all supply wires from the pulley motor terminals and then connect the ohmmeter leads between the pulley motor terminals as follows. U to V, then V to W, then U to W. The three resistance measurements should be balanced and should not have more than 10% deviation from the lowest to the highest. And of course this is going to determine if the pulley motor windings are balanced or if the windings are open circuited phase to phase, which is good. Or if the windings are short circuited phase to phase, which of course is bad. Next, use the ohmmeter to measure the thermal switch resistance. De-energize the supply voltage, disconnect all the supply wires from the pulley motor terminals, and then connect the ohmmeter leads between terminals T1 and T2. And look for near zero resistance or full continuity. Then connect the ohmmeter leads between T1 and ground and T2 and ground and look for no continuity, that is to say infinite resistance. And then finally, use the ohmmeter to measure the motor insulation continuity. You're going to need to de-energize the supply voltage, disconnect all the supply wires from the pulley motor terminals and then connect the ohmmeter leads between each pulley motor terminal to the pulley ground lug in the terminal box, for example. Connect U to the ground lug, then connect V to the ground lug, and then connect W to the ground lug. The three measurements should be between mega ohms and infinite ohms. In other words, an open circuit or no continuity. And this is going to determine if the motor winding insulation is okay, or if the windings are short circuited phase to ground. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more informative tutorials, go to our website, RomecaCorp.com, or please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.